Hello, and welcome to another episode of Aplexus's Expert Series. My name is Elizabeth Fratentuno, and I will be your host and moderator for today. And with me is Joe Falui, the Managing Principal for Aplexus's Quality Engineering Practice. Joe, I always struggle with that when trying to get it out, but thank you for joining us today. It's a pleasure. I'm glad to be here. Thank you for having me. So in the past, we've talked, you've, you've explained to us a little bit about quality engineering and some of the things that are, make it different than just regular old testing or quality assurance. But I wanted to focus today on the data migration components of quality engineering. And just wanted to ask, what are some of the, the challenges that companies are having around the data migration piece of an SAP S4 implementation? Yes, a uh, very good question, Elizabeth. Thank you. Um, it's, it's really important and that companies, um, and, and I think companies do understand the importance of data uh, when it comes to S4 or SAP transformation, but it becomes more important because it really deals with everything that you do throughout the whole process of transformation, right? When we think about data migration, which is the core, which is part of the core uh, efforts uh, that take place during a, a migration. You're copying data from several sources uh, into SAP. There's a lot of tentacles that that data has across the ecosystem, right? When you think about connectivity into other system, data relationships, data integration across all the platform. So there's a whole lot of things that need to be considered, right? So and, and when you really look at it, when we talk about data, we're talking about master data, right? Which could be your vendor, your customer data. Um, and then we talk about transactional data. And of course, at the point of migration, you have open transaction, your ARs, your APs, your open sales, your inventory. There's a host of things that are there. So you, it requires a lot of attention and focus to make sure you do it right, right? Now, what customers uh, run into a lot of times when it comes to challenges is that, you know, during that migration, they run into performance issues, right? So that's one major issue that most customers would, would, would um, you know, would experience during data migration. Another issue that uh, customers experience is, you know, uh, lack of completeness in the data, right? They copy the data and some data is missing or they have dirty data that they've copied over from the old system into the new system that needs to be handled. Uh, there's also data compatibility, right, with the, with the existing system or the integration, which I talk, talked about earlier on. These are all various issues that customers could run into when they are doing their data migration. And it's really important that, you know, special attention and having the right partner that has you know, experience, and I'm not talking about, you know, one or two years of experience, but uh, long-term experience with dealing with uh, SAP data, and particularly data migration effort to be able to help a customer pull this off uh, successfully. So you mentioned the right partner. So obviously I want to talk about Aplexus and help our, our listeners and viewers understand how Aplexus approaches data migration on an S4 implementation and how you can help them? Yes, um, that's another good question, Elizabeth. You know, for us at Aplexus, it's, we, we, you know, there's certain things that we take very importantly, right? And particularly when it comes to data. We understand the process of mig migrating data, right? We understand the process of validating data, but the person, that really understands and knows the data is the customer. So what we do is that we collaborate in the way we do, you know, this data uh, testing. We collaborate with the customer, with the with the users, because when we're going through the copy, so there's a, there's a process that we go through, right? There's a preload uh, process, and then there's a postload uh, process. During the preload, what we do is that we engage with the customers with sample data make sure that they validate and look at the data, make sure that it is really correct, 
right? Based on all the business rules and the mapping and things that we've agreed on, we want to make sure that they look at the initial set of uh, sample data and make sure that that looks okay. And then we go into the first copy. When the when when the when the data gets loaded into uh, the system, we go in again with them to do what we call the post load validation. And this there's a lot of data now that they have to go through and, and, and evaluate and look at it and make sure that the, that the data is accurate and it's complete to their satisfaction. And then once that is done, the actual uh, load into SAP takes place. And at this point, we go in and do what we call data in integrity testing. And this is where we have to look at the completeness, we have to look at the accuracy of the data, we have to look at the compatibility of the data, and we have to look at a host of things, right? When we go through this uh, 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 testing, you know, during this data migration, once that is completed and we think everything is where it needs to be, then at that point, we engage in our functional uh, data testing. So at this point, we're running different functionalities in SAP and ensuring that the data and the backend complies with what's uh, needed uh, to be done from a functional perspective. And once that is completed, now we go into data integration testing. Because, you know, as I said at the initial stage, data, SAP data doesn't live in isolation. As an SAP as a solution does not live in isolation within a company, within an organization. So there are other systems that talk to SAP that rely on SAP data or SAP relies on their data. So we want to make sure that this newly copied data in SAP conforms with all that uh, integration rules, and we want to make sure that we're able to run business processes, you know, from SAP to non-SAP and back to SAP without any issues. So these are all uh, the, the various uh, types of tests that we perform when we embark on a uh, uh, data migration uh, effort within S uh, S4 transformation project. Great, thank you. It sounds like you and your team at Aplexus have a very detailed process that handles just about anything that could happen with from a data migration perspective. So Joe, thanks for being on the show today. I really appreciate your time and, and value all of your, your knowledge and experience related to quality engineering. And I hope you'll join us again. Thank you. Everybody that's with us today, have a great day. Thanks. Thanks.